What's going on family? Hope y'all are having a great day. And if you've seen this video, you probably already saw the thumbnail and you know what that means. No, it's not Taco Tuesday, unfortunately. But the Navy has announced the next and upcoming Mac Pond. And as you know, Russell Smith is on the verge of retiring, regardless of what you've seen in the tabloids and the headlines, which, you know, it is what it is. We have to move on. And we're moving on to the next Mac Pond, which is Fleet Master Chief Honea, or Honia, I hope I'm saying that right. And if I'm not, then I apologize. But he is going to be the next Mac Pond Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy. And before I just dive into all of that and what he is and what he does, how about we actually talk about what is the Meg Pond? What do they do? And I have a definition right here from the Navy.mil website, so I'm not just shooting from the hip. We have that the Meg Pond is the senior enlisted person in the Navy. They serve as the senior enlisted leader of the Navy and as an advisor to the CNO, Chief of Naval Operations, and to the Chief of Naval Personnel in matters dealing with enlisted personnel and their families. So like a CMC squared, if that's even a thing, because of this stuff. But they also serve as an advisor to the many boards dealing with enlisted personnel issues. Is the enlisted representative of the Department of the Navy at special events, may be called upon to testify on enlisted personnel issues before Congress, and maintains a liaison with enlisted spouse organizations. So you look at that, you think, okay, that almost sounds like my CMC, but just at a higher level. So you can think about it like that if that helps you remember it. But as you can see here from the Navy Times article, which I'm not gonna bring it up and have you read all that stuff. But as you can see, it says that he will be the 16th Mick Pond of the Navy, and he is a BM. So all the little BMs out there representing their symbol. I have the little BM tattoo right there. It's, it's time, it's y'all's time. I know y'all are excited about that. But just a little quick history about Fleet Master Chief Honea. I'm just gonna sum it up real quick. He joined in 1987, so which means he's been serving for about 35 years now. But we're gonna talk about that. Like, how come he's serving all these years? Like, can he, why is he still in? We're gonna go and talk about that later. But he joined in 1987. He joined, he was in boot camp in San Diego. It wasn't Great Lakes back then, it was San Diego. And he went to the USS John A. Moore, which is a frigate. Shout out to all the frigate people out there. If you're on a frigate, go ahead and show some love. He rose through the ranks and he was on board USS Juneau, LPD-10, USS Dubuque, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, LPD-8, USS Bonhomme Richard. And his first assignment as a CMC was on the Gridley, DDG-101, and USS New Orleans, LPD-18. And some of his shore assignments, I know, BMs do go to shore duty. They do go to shore. Contrary to popular belief, they do go to shore. Shore assignments include Naval Reserve Readiness Command, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Navy Region Southwest. He also completed a couple of IAs as a CMC at the U.S. Navy Embedded Training Teams, Combined Joint Task Phoenix. He was deployed to Afghanistan. And he did a couple more things and then from here just breaks down you know some of his awards but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save all that for you so he is going to be the 16th mech pond i broke down some stuff for you and that he is a bm and i also broke down for you what is a mech pond but one thing that i think you would like to see that i'm going to talk about is he's been in for all these years why is he able to still stay in if you don't know there's something called a high year tenure and a high year tenure is just showing like based off of your rank how long you can stay in the military so i have this photo up right here that shows how long someone can stay in for for the high year tenure and as you can see here for cmc's there's 35 years for mick pond it's 38. So as you can see here, you have CMC, Force Master Chief, and Fleet Master Chief, which he is. And then Mick Pond will put him up to like three more years. But you can always put in waivers and requests and you can serve much longer than that. So just a fun fact for those that didn't know. But in a nutshell, but in a nutshell that is our Mick Pond. My thoughts on it with him being a BM, I have high regard and respect for 
BMs because they are like the workhorse of the ship. Them and engineers, they will always have my utmost respect. I couldn't do their job, so I always respect them as a whole. And the only thing I could take from this is that I'm pretty sure he's going to be for the people. I've never seen him speak or anything like that. If he's the salty dog that he is, then hey, that's good. You have a good leader that's going to tell you like it is. Or, you know, since he is at a high position, he could be more laid back and give you a good gentle approach. But y'all have a BM, so all the BMs, put, put up your little BM, your BM tattoos. I don't have one, but that's okay. I don't have any tattoos anyway. But what are your thoughts on this? Are you happy? Are you excited? Does he have a BM tattoo? I can't really see based off the photo that I have right here, but that's perfectly fine. So what are your, what are your thoughts? It doesn't say when he will come into office, but that's fine. And CNO, Admiral Gilday said, I selected him because he has salt water in his veins. Or oh, do you know that's salty? Embodies Navy values in every fiber of his being and is the right leader to inspire and motivate our chief mess to continue to be the best in the world. Everybody, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, subscribe. And if you're on board a ship right now, please check out my ship kit down below, which are just a high recommended things that I have that I recommend that you have on the ship. And if you are thinking about making the military a career or you haven't even joined yet, please check out my career. I forgot, it's up there somewhere. My career cards on just things that can help you out. But that being said, thank you for your time. Have a great day.